Hey. You alright? I don't think anyone's asked you that out of all today. No one probably has. I hope you're alright. And I hope you've been productive. But maybe you haven't. Maybe you haven't been productive. In fact, you've actually had quite a negative and you've not had a good day at all. But you don't know why. You don't know why you can't stay consistent. You don't know why you can't start improving yourself. All these self-improvement videos that you're watching, self-development, you don't understand why you aren't staying consistent. You don't know what's holding you back. And I can tell you exactly what it is and how to fix it in this video. And that is your identity. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. The sun's starting to come out now as well. Because it's really cold, my hands are freezing. Your identity. How on earth can is this the thing that's holding you back? That's stopping you from becoming the, the ideal version of yourself? That future you you want to become? How is identity stopping you? How is it holding you back? And it's because of how you think of yourself. Chances are you have a lot of negative thoughts running through your mind. You're always thinking negative things. Don't worry, you're not the only one. I did this as well, like two years ago. Constantly, for most of my life. Before I started going on to self-improvement, I had negative thoughts running through my mind. I was always thinking negative things. I was not a really positive person, but then again, most people who are in their teens aren't. A lot of us are stressed because of A-levels or trying to find out what you need to go to or trying, being peer pressured to do well in certain subjects. You have this constant fear that you're not actually that great. You're worried that you might be excluded from that friend group. You're worried about a load, a load of different things. Maybe a lot of things about yourself, how you look. If you think that you'll never be great, you'll never be great. Your identity is what you believe about yourself. And what you believe about yourself, other people will believe about you. If you believe that you're the awkward, unsocial guy who likes being inside, who's not very confident, and is worried that he might be excluded from the friend group or is really awkward when he goes up to girls, if you constantly think that about yourself, you'll start acting like it. You believe that this is your identity. So others will believe that this is you, that you're this kind of guy. It's the same for me. I went years without going to the gym and I became known as the guy who just didn't like going to the gym. That was my identity. But when I started going and other people started seeing that and I started believing, no, my identity is not the guy who doesn't like going to the gym. No, 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 no. My identity is that I go to the gym. I'm not starting to go. I go to the gym. And then other people started to see that as well. What you believe as your identity, other people will believe. And this is probably the thing that's holding you back because maybe you believe yourself not fully the whole way yet. Maybe you are the guy who's saying, I'm starting to go on self-improvement. I'm starting to go to the gym. I'm quitting. I'm quitting porn. I'm trying no fat. I'm trying to quit smoking. I'm trying to quit drinking. You're counting down the days on how many days you've been on no fat. Why are you counting? Why, why are you counting the days? So you can tell people how many days you managed to do it before you fail again? Stop having this half-assed mentality. Your identity needs to be the whole way, otherwise you won't stay consistent and other people won't believe in that for you as well. If you tell people that I've quit smoking, that I go to the gym, that I'm on self-improvement, that I, that I don't drink, people will believe that of you. You see, if you've got a guy who's smoking, who's trying to quit smoking, and the guy whose identity he's quit, if he's in a club and someone says, oh, do you want a cig? And he's like, oh no, I'm trying to quit. They're gonna be peer pressured to have it more. And then they're gonna be like, oh, what kind of brand? Oh, okay, maybe I'll have one. Compared to the guy who says, no, I've quit. He won't be peer pressured to have a cigarette because he's just straight up said, no, I quit. The other people are like, okay, yeah, no, he doesn't smoke. He doesn't smoke. Maybe this is you. I'm trying to revise more. I'm trying to self-better myself. I'm trying to improve my mental health, my financial health, my physical health. No, I am improving my mental health. I am improving my financial health. I am improving my physical health. You're not trying all this stuff, you are. This is what's holding you back. And now get up your ass, go to the gym. <laughs> if you like this video and this video helped you out, click on the one in the corner because this will most definitely help you out as well and could possibly change your life. Stay consistent and do the best you can. Love you, bro. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Self-improvement kiss. Mwah.